Hi guys, in the Boeing 747-8 simulator, I've got to run a session in a minute. Apologize about the mask. I've got to wear a mask all the time in the simulator and training center. Anyway, what I want to show you is some things on the aeroplane that are irreversible. Once you've actioned, that's it. You can only correct the situation on the ground. Now up here, we have the IRS inertial reference system, left, center, and right. See that? Left, center, and right. So, to turn these switches here, to turn the IRS on is a simple rotate like that to nav. Nav, align, or nav. We generally go straight to nav, or you can go to align, and then when it gets to the alignment point, you can put to nav. Now we just go straight to, to nav. Now to go to attitude mode in flight, this is refers to in flight, if you go to attitude mode, you can't turn the switch. The reason for that is because if you turn the switch to attitude, which you can't directly, that is an ir irreversible action in flight. You'll have to stay in attitude throughout. You can't realign it back into nav or align once you've gone into attitude. So basically what the switch is saying is, look, you can go to attitude, but once you go to attitude, it's irreversible in flight. Are you sure you want to do it? And if you're sure you want to do it, you pull, lift the switch, you pull it out like that. So there's a bit of space there. You pull it out. So you pull it out and turn. Then you can go to attitude. But that's now irreversible in flight. That's it. And it's locked in position as well. Are you sure you want to do it? If you're sure you want to do it, then pull and turn. See that? To attitude, pull and turn. And then it's locked in that position for the rest of the flight. Even if you go back to nav, the system will not allow you to get back to nav where you were before. Whereas if you're in nav position, to pull it back there, if you're in nav position, which is where you want to be, ideally, we always fly in nav, of course, to go to a line as well again if you go to a line in flight it's irreversible if you try and turn it it won't turn but if you really want to go to a line what it's saying is it's a ground thing again you pull and turn to go to a line you pull and turn pull and turn but to go to nav is a good thing so to go to nav you needn't pull the switch it just says well oh, that's a good thing to go to navigation that's a good thing, you see. So that's why from off position, from off position to go to align or nav, you just turn the switch. But to go from nav to align, is saying, are you sure? Or well, from nav to attitude, are you sure? If you are, then you pull the switch out of the panel and turn left. Or pull the switch out of the panel and go to attitude. Okay? That's how those switches work. The other thing that's irreversible on the overhead panel is the generator drive you see here this is the uh, drive disconnect so each engine has a generator attached to it and sometimes the generator the engine might malfunction severely and you might want to disconnect the generator from the drive because it could cause further damage or even a severe fire if it's still connected to it and is the problem. Generally, the generator has its own oil, it's self-contained and it can overheat, it can have over temperature, over pressure and things like that. So you may want to disconnect it. So this again is irreversible in flight. To disconnect the drive, you lift and push. Lift and push that, that would disconnect the generator drive. Once you've uh, disconnected the generator drive, it's irreversible. It can only be reconnected on the ground. So these are switches like this one. We always verify with the other pilot that you lift the guard, verify the other pilot says, check, that's the correct one. Then you push and that disconnects the drive. Up here, the other one that I would say is irreversible, of course, is this is the freighter. So it's got a supernumerary oxygen. That's the oxygen for passengers on the upper deck. Now, if I lift the guard and move that switch like that.
that drops all the masks on the upper deck and in the toilet. Now, of course, that's irreversible because the uh, that's irreversible, of course, because the only way to put those oxygen masks back again, you could in flight, I suppose, is normally on the ground. The engineers will come back, reset the system, and put the oxygen masks and put them back in their recesses for the next flight. So, in a way, it's irreversible. Although you could obviously go around in flight and put them back in, but that's one of those things you can't. Once you move the switch, you can't stop the mask from dropping in other words that's what i mean by irreversible okay so that's another switch that's irreversible up there so i'll cap it uh, another one up here that's irreversible is the ram air turbine it can only be stowed again on the ground so if i lift that guard and the pilot the other pilot confirms it and i push the ram air turbine will extend and once it's extended in flight that's it we can't retract it again. So it's another re irreversible action on the Boeing 747. And there are several irreversible actions on Airbus 777, 787. There are certain actions that are irreversible once you've actioned it. It's a bit like uh, bungee jumping. Once you jump, that's it, you're going. Yeah, you might, you might uh, ask them to stop you earlier, but they just have to wait for the bungee to actually stop its action. So irreversible actions, generator drive disconnect, align or attitude or off indeed in flight on the irs so that's irreversible generator drive is irreversible supernumerary oxygen if you activate it that's it the mass will drop ram air turbine irreversible in flight you can't stow it again until you're on the ground that's a snippet later